Hello everyone and welcome to this channel and this live. So if you're new to this channel, my name is David Lindgren. I'm a freelancing content creator and videographer. Uh, I'm going to remove this because I hear myself. Um, and on this channel, I share tutorials and travel videos. And also I do this vlog called Project Vayner, which is the documentation of my journey towards getting a job at Vayner Media in New York City. So I do this live episode um, in Project Vayner once every month. I've done it now for 14 mon months um, with 13 different guests. And this is month, month number 15. Um, we had a guest last weekend, but we had to cancel in last minute. So right now I am doing it myself. And I decided to just go live uh, to continue doing one live every month and uh, talk about how I do these live episodes and the equipment I use and how I set everything up. And um, yeah, so that's the plan. And I decided to do this just one hour ago. So it's very spontaneous right now, but I've recorded a little bit about my setup here and sent it to the computer. So I'm going to show you those videos so you can see more how I'm working. Um, if you're not watching this when it's live, if you're watching this afterwards, I will put a comment down in the comment section with timestamps to all the different, uh, different things that I'm going to talk about in this episode. So if you want to jump to a specific topic, you can just go down to the comment section and you can click the timestamps in that comment and jump to that section directly. Uh, and if you're watching this live right now, please let me know if everything is coming through, uh, if the audio is working and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I don't have the Lumix GH5 camera as I usually have on these live episodes. Um, the reason for that is that I usually use my laptop and then I can plug in the camera to the laptop. Uh, but now the laptop is broken and I, uh, they are repairing it right now. So I'm using my stationary computer, my old iMac from 2011 and it doesn't have USB three. So it doesn't have a stable enough connection to, to use an external, um, camera like my Lumix H5. So. I've tried to plug it in, but it didn't work. Um, so that's one thing to think about, to have the right, actually the right type of USB connection to be able to plug in an external camera. Um, so yeah. Hello, Daniel, welcome. Hello, Elmer. Hello, Svea. Nice to see you guys here. So Elmer says that it sounds fine. That's great. That's great. Um, yeah, I before I jump into the uh, tutorial ish live. Um, just a quick note. I have I've noticed one thing with this microphone that it was like a beeping sound in the background and if you're going live and you want to uh, use a microphone like this you might experience the same thing one thing i did to uh, prevent that because it's easy to do afterwards when you can go into an editing program and change it but when you do it live it's completely different so but i noticed in obs studio there is filters that you can put on top uh, like noise cancelling filters. Uh, we're going to jump into OBS Studio. I'm going to show you how you can do that. Um, so hopefully the audio is much better now than it's than it usually is. Um, so that felt good that I found that solution. 
Um, so my plan for this live episode is to... Uh, I'm sorry, Danny, Daniel, we're not going to do any baking. I'm just going to bake a pretty good live episode. I hope that's good enough with some cream on top. I don't know why I did this. Cream. Anyways, so I decided to like split this live into three parts, kind of. Um, so first one is uh, the technical part, which is the equipment that I gear, how I plug it in and stuff like that. The second part is the software. So I'm going to switch so you can see in OBS Studio and on YouTube how it's working. Uh, and how I do the stream. And the third thing is the actual content in the live episodes. How I have changed that since the first episode and what I've learned in like how to make as good episode as possible. Uh, so yeah, that's the things that I'm planning to go through here today. Uh, I don't know how long this would be, but I think we have uh, said enough now for this little intro part. So, um, yeah, let's start with the technique. Um, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you by like looking all over the place i have the camera right there and then i have the software that i'm looking into here and i have the the actual live episode here to the left where i can see the comments so i'm kind of multitasking which is something that you need to get used to if you are doing live episodes that there is a lot of stuff to uh to focus on at the same time but anyway so technique first of all i have this microphone it's the pseudotac condenser microphone uh, it's a pretty cheap one i think it's like i don't remember exactly but maybe 30 or 40 dollars euro um which is not that bad. It's pretty good audio for that price. And it's a USB microphone, so you can plug it straight into the computer if you have a USB port, which you can't take for granted these days, especially if you're a Apple user. Uh, but then you have this um, very good thing. So you can buy these small adapters. And then you plug the USB into this one and it it's an adapter from USB to USB-C. So these ones are very handy. Um, oh, by the way, if you go to my kit site, uh, kit.com slash David Lindgren 89, you can see the uh, live setup that I'm using for for these live episodes. I'm going to put that link in the description as well. Um, so, and I'm also going to add the products there that I'm talking about in this uh, episode so you can find them there. Um, but I think that's it about the microphone and then we have the, the computer that I'm using, or the computer, the camera that I'm using. Um, but I'm going to show you a video so you can see like from this perspective and the stuff I was filming just like 30 minutes ago with my phone uh, and sent it to the computer. So I'm going to see if I can find those videos on my desk so you can see them. So now I'm going into OBS Studio just to explain what I'm doing. I click the plus sign on sources. And then I click uh, media source, create new one. Um, and I call it my, my setup one. 
and then I browse for the video that I want to show you which should be here somewhere no 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 okay downloads probably let's see just one second how are you lovely people doing today by the way anything interesting happening I should know where my downloads end up, right? What I'm doing now is just downloading a new file so I can click show all in the browser and to see where I get them. Uh -huh. Show in finder. There we go. It was on the desktop. Right, so that's that one. Downloaded as a zip file, so now I'm getting the it's three videos. So I'm going to show you the first one. I think that's the first one. Yeah, so 2942. All right, sorry for the delay, guys. iCloud Photos. Right, there. Yeah, so like I said, what I'm going to show you now is a video I just recorded with my phone about my setup. Um, so you can see how it looks, basically. My setup. Here it comes. So this is how my setup usually looks, except that I use the laptop instead of the iMac. So this is the microphone that I'm using. It's the Sudotec condenser microphone. It's just a regular USB cable, so you can just plug it into the computer easily. And you can just put this next to the table. Then we have the camera that I usually use, the Lumix GH5. What's important here is that you put on M here on this wheel uh, or thingy. Uh, and then you have this one here. And then here you can find the HDMI port. So you plug in the HDMI cable. And then at the other end, you need to have this adapter to be able to stream. So this is the cam link adapter that I have, uh, works pretty good. The reason I'm not using it is because I'm using the iMac right now and it doesn't have USB-C or it doesn't have USB 3, which is required uh, for plugging in the GH5. And you can see that by looking at, the, looking at a USB cable, if we take this one for example, you see here it's white, uh, so then you know it's not a USB 3. If it's colored, like usually it's blue, then you know it's USB 3. Uh, and that means it's a um, like faster, um, the connection is faster. So uh, it can handle the, the video coming from the camera. Uh, live so yeah and this by the way is a, a battery a dummy battery so it looks like this so I plug this into the camera and then plug this into the wall so then I don't have to think about charging the batteries I can just have um, battery all the time so I don't have to think about that the softbox this is the light that I'm using. I've attached it right here uh, like this so I can just remove it if I need it for client work. So I just plug it in here and then point it towards me. And then yeah here's my little plant, Jose. Hello. 
Hello. So that's the setup, the audio, the camera, the lighting. Um, and yeah, I think that's, that's about it. All right. So that was a little video about my setup. And to show you what I meant about the different USB um, cables, I just took a screenshot that I can show you to show the different types of USB and it looks like this. So this is also something that you can do in your live episodes. You, uh, when you go to sources where you add this camera source, you can also add images. So you click plus, you click image, and then you browse to the image you want, just like how you add video. And you can also move it around. So you move it first in the preview window, and then you click transition. And then it's moved and you can make it bigger put it in the corner like so yeah like you can see on the image um when it's colored it's usually usb 3 and not black and white um so that's that and then i was going to show you how it looks when I actually set up the live. So then I have another video. So please hold. Media source. Video two. I'm sorry, this is extremely spontaneous. Uh, I usually prepare like six hours before a live episode this one i prepared for 45 minutes before um so because i wanted to get it out while it was still still while it was still february to keep the streak of one live every month so yeah here is now you're actually getting some insights into my YouTube channel, seeing the stats and stuff. So I don't know if I should show you that or should I? Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to show you that. So um, video two. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how you actually go into your YouTube channel and you prepare the live episode on the channel because you have to prepare it on the channel first and then you go into the software and in the software you make all the connections like the input sources that you want maybe you want a external camera to show you and then um, maybe you want to show a guest so then you have the ndi plugin to connected to Skype so you can show the guest and then you send the stream from the software up to YouTube and um, when you see that it, that the connection is working and you can see the preview on YouTube you click live but I'm going to show you so yeah here's the video so now we're looking at my channel in YouTube studio so to create a live you go up here in the corner uh, now it's swedish but i think it says create in english and then go live and then if you have done a live before you can click copy and create or you can click new stream so we're just gonna go new stream and then we write in the name and the description and then we go there so this is how it looks. So what you need to do here is that you need to go here to the streaming key. 
um, you can click this one so you see the text and then you copy this key and then you paste it into your streaming software um, so this is the only thing you need from here and then when you have pasted it into OBS Studio and you click to go live you will see a preview right here and after you see that the connection is working you go up to the corner and you click send live and now you can't do it because it doesn't see anything um, but yeah that's how you do it okay i muted myself but now we're back um any questions so far please raise your hand no hands okay yeah so um that's how you connect to youtube so i also want to show you how it looks in the actual software um, and I'm going to show you a short video about that but then afterwards we're going to jump into the software uh, live you can see how it looks so you have the video here no. here so just to show you how it looks in OBS Studio, you copy this key right here. All right. That didn't work as planned. Um, for some reason, it was upside down. This is the charming thing with live episodes. Uh, it's always new problems like this problem showing a video upside down has never happened before in 14 live episodes so i don't know what's happened there uh, <laughs> but yeah let's try again so no. just to show you how it looks in obs studio that's strange going to delete that and I'm going to add a media source video 3 So let's try this. So just to show you how it looks in OBS Studio, you copy this key. Right. Right. So now we're looking at my channel in YouTube Studio. So to create a live, you go. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, I'm just going to show you live how it works. So. Maximizing this window and then we go to Now I'm actually going to try something that I haven't tried In any of these live episodes I'm going to source sources um, window capture um, I call it window capture 2 and then I can pick a A window that I want to show you. So let's see if this works. I'm picking the OBS Studio. So now it's going to look weird, just so you know. Um, and I'm clicking transition. And boom! I'm disappearing into nowhere. Anyways, this is how it looks in OBS Studio where I'm streaming from. So you have the the preview window up to the left you have the the live to the right and then you have the scenes down to the left 
where you can prepare different setups. So in every scene you can have maybe a, a video and then some graphic on top and uh, maybe like a extra source, a backup source like I have the GH5 but I also have the webcam underneath so if the GH5 stops working you can still see me uh, with a webcam so that's how you can use the sources and then you have the mixer and if we go to the mixer uh, I'm going to show you how you can get better audio like I talked about before you click the wheel the like settings icon and then you go down to filters and now you can't see this so I'm going to see if I can change window so you can see what I'm talking about. Window capture. Um, OBS filters. Yes, here we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that in the middle. So now you see it. You have the. You get this window. Uh, I'm going to move it up a little bit. So when you click on this little settings wheel under the audio meter, you and click filters, you get this window, and then you go down to the bottom left corner. And you click the plus sign and then you can choose noise gate and then you can add a noise gate um, but now it's warning me because i already have it so i'm adding noise gate too and then you get it here on the left side so i i'm adding two filters noise gate and noise suppression and that seems to work pretty good um, so if you just add that onto your your um, audio input source you won't have the beeping sound in the background hopefully so that's the audio and then you see here in the middle you see the green text uh, at the bottom in the middle where it says live so you know it's uh, streaming properly and then uh, it says a lot of different stuff like the CPU usage and the uh, FPS and average time to render frames and stuff like that and at the bottom you can see for how long you have been live and for how long it has been recording and you can choose this if you want to automatically record every live which I do so I can use content from it afterwards or if you don't want to do it and you can also change what type of format you want to um, save it to so when you have everything here set up I can show you just how to change um, input source so here video 2 is me no webcam is me so if i drag this to the top you will see me here and if i click this i icon to the right of webcam then i hide it so you can see the stuff that is underneath and the only thing that is visible right now is window capture 2 so if I hide that too it will turn black so getting me back there and then you click the plus sign and you can add different inputs um, 
so if you click the plus sign here you can add a guest the camera or the video source for the guest so i'm using a plugin called ndi uh, to be able to connect it to skype so when i'm doing the skype call uh, in advance i uh, call the guest we start the skype call and then i click the plus sign i click ndi source and then i use that uh, call as a input source so i can get that um, that video into obs and then when everything is set up you click here transition so you're actually yeah now you can't see that because i just click transition to, to hide the screen and show me so now you can only see me so if I click back to window capture to and transition, you see this again. So now I want me, so I click webcam me and then I go to the transition button. But before I do that, if you go down to the bottom right corner, it says stop streaming there. And now when I'm, uh, before you start streaming, it says start streaming. So you click there and then it starts streaming to your youtube channel and this thing at the bottom right turns green the little green box here and then you head over to youtube and i'm going to show you how it looks there so you understand so i go to window capture and i make a new one called youtube uh, and here I'm I can't find it so I'm going to see browse browser now I think so I create a new source Old browser. You just added the browser. So browser lets you display. I haven't done this before, <laughs> so you know. Uh, from the internet or a local file, set the URL to the page you'd like to display. So I'm going to learn this as I do it. <laughs> Interesting. 1920 times 1080. For the width and height. No, okay. 600 times 400, maybe. Okay. Um, that didn't work. Let's try again. Browser to. Is it there? Okay. Huh. I'm going to show you what I see. Or, yeah, you see it already. It says sign in like this. So, um,. I don't think I can solve it right now, so I'm just going to show you a screenshot. Um, unless, maybe, find one more thing. Oh, found it. Right, so going to this side. There we go. So this is how it looks in 
the uh, the interface on YouTube. So when you send live, you get this view, and you can see there. You can see the video, what it's showing, and you can see just underneath the connection if it's good or bad. And then up in the right corner, you can click uh, start uh, send live. And right now it says uh, end live in the red button up in the right corner. So that's important to know that when you click start streaming in OBS Studio, you need to also head over to this page and click send live. So you need to click it on both places. Um, so uh, yeah, here's where you get the, the stream key. The first row there with the dots you can click the i icon to see the stream key then you can copy it and then you go into obs studio and i'm going to show you how you do it here so we're going back into obs studio just to show you This is confusing. Where are we? Window capture. All right. There we are. Going back into OBS Studio. And then we go to up to the menu, OBS preferences. And you can probably not see that. So I'm going to add that as well. Um, no, I can't. Ah. So I'm just going to take a screenshot so you can see it. a screenshot there and then I import that image from the desktop so when you go to OBS up in the menu and click preferences you get this window and then you click stream on the left hand side and there you paste the stream key on the third row there that you copied from YouTube so after you've done that you go back into you close that window and you go back to OBS studio and then you go down and click start streaming. So copy the key, start streaming, head over to YouTube and click send live. So that's basically how it works. All right, <laughs> any questions? I think I covered the basics right now. Um, so I'm going to round this up shortly. If there is anything you wonder, just let me know. Oh, also, so that was the first two parts, the technical stuff and the software. And um, yeah, when going into the actual live, what I've learned is that, first of all, um, I try to invite people that I feel can bring value to my channel and to my viewers and I'm a videographer myself so my uh, my goal is to get guests that are videographers, content creators, uh, working with social media or 
just people that um, have some knowledge in in something to to help like a content creator forward it could be someone that is an entrepreneur or uh, like a CEO or someone that is really good in setting structures or routines or um, yeah just any person that I feel can give advice and can be helpful for me on my journey and for my viewers as well um, and some of the things that I've learned during these live episodes is to have tempo when I'm talking so I'm not talking low like this but actually try to uh, speak faster and also have some kind of rhythm so you can take it slower for some words like this but then you can speed it up so it's not just the same pace all the way through um, that way you can also win some time when you are multitasking and trying to add some graphic or some video or something um, the other thing is to have energy when you do these live episodes like for example if I didn't send live right now if I was just sitting at home I would probably talk like this um, so this is like my natural way of speaking when I'm not sending live and if you look at older videos that I've done uh, it's, it usually looks like this like the first vlog videos that I that I was doing uh, and I look bored but I'm, I'm not bored uh, it's just the way I am but then, when I go into the live episodes, as you can see, I like turn up 10% on the energy because this feels more natural when you're talking to viewers. Um, so that's a good thing to think about. Always have a little bit more energy than you usually have. And the other thing is <laughs> what I'm doing right now. Moving my hands, uh, maybe touching my face like this or scratching or uh, also I have quite big hands so it's kind of distracting for the viewers so just try to sit still look into the camera and try to listen to the guest um, because you can easily get distracted by all this stuff that I'm doing and the last thing and maybe the most important thing is to listen to the guest so I have learned that it's really good with preparation and have a lot of different questions that you want to ask uh, it gives you a better chance of doing a good live episode but you also need to listen to the guest so that you can ask follow-up questions on things that you think is interesting and that it has a natural kind of flow in the episode instead of jumping back and forth between subjects so that's um, something that is good to think about um, and I think that's something that you get better and better at the more you do it to actually adapt and also try to add some humor to it when you can uh, it it makes the often it makes the guest a little bit more relaxed and you get relaxed as well because everything isn't super stiff and you don't feel like oh I can't make any mistakes just relax enjoy yourself and uh, have fun because yeah you wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun right um so that's um some stuff about live episodes and there is different ways of doing it i'm using obs studio skype youtube uh you can use different softwares and different streaming services and channels you can send to twitch or facebook or instagram or yeah so um that's it for this live episode i hope that i will see you in the next one and if you want to learn more about video editing 
and content creation i have a lot of like one minute tutorials here on my channel really short tutorials because i know that time is important and you want to have the solution as quick as possible so that's why i'm doing short tutorials i'm also continuing doing these live episode once per month so hopefully i will have a guest next month um and then yeah continuing vlogging as usual um so that's it i'm going to update the video description below with the links to the stuff that i've talked about and uh i um, i'll see you guys in the next episode I'm just going to add the end screen so you know that it's the end of the video. I mean, otherwise, how would you know? How would you know it's if it's the end of the live if I don't show you an end screen? <laughs> so here it is. Thank you for watching and see you guys soon. Bye.